During the tutorial, we are navigating the ELA practice test and performance tasks for Smarter Balance. During this presentation, we will demonstrate practice test options and show classroom activities and their corresponding practice performance tasks. To access the practice test, the following web browsers can be used. Firefox, Chrome, Safari, and Internet Explorer 10 or 11. It is suggested that Chrome be used. We will first take you to the Washington Comprehensive Assessment Program portal. Please note the web address at the top of the page. We are going to focus today on the practice and training tests for Smarter Balance. First, click on the button to take the practice and training tests. Once you click this, you will be redirected to a sign-in page. All fields will auto-populate as guest. Click Sign In. You will then select the grade level that you wish to see. Then select Yes. You will then be provided with three options for math and three for ELA. The training tests are for the grade band and are under 10 questions in length. The practice test is grade level specific and meant to mirror the computer adaptive test that students will take on the summative assessment. However, this practice test is not adaptive. When a test is selected, we are taken to a page where accommodation settings are customized for individual students. Once finished, click Select. The next page will confirm your settings. Click Yes, Start My Test. For the ELA test only, there is a sound check where students can ensure that the sound is working on their computer as there may be questions with audio clips for the students to listen to. On this page, there is information about tools in the test. Go ahead and click Begin Test Now. For the questions on this page, the associated reading passage is on the left of the screen. As you scroll down, you will see that there are seven questions on the page. All questions must have an answer in order to move on to the next page, which is done by clicking Next. Once students have worked through the entire computer adaptive test, there will be a button for the student to end test. For these practice tests, the computer does not score the responses. There are scoring guides available for the practice computer adaptive test. If you return to the initial practice test screen and click on the resources and documentation link, you will then click on the scoring guides link. Under the 2014 column, we can find the scoring guide for the grade 3 ELA test. The scoring guides are a test map for the teacher, as they contain information for each question and the claim, target, DOK level, and standards associated. The scoring guide also contains an answer key and rubric for each question. The third option for practice tests are the performance tasks. Before administering the computer-based performance tasks, the corresponding classroom activity must be given. These take about 30 minutes. Their purpose is to level the playing field for all students regarding the context and scenario of the task, not to provide instruction on the skills necessary to complete the task. Copies of the classroom activity are available if you return to the resources and documentation then click on the Classroom Activities link. Since we are giving the third grade ELA performance task, we will click on the Grade 3 ELA Classroom Activity. This will open a PDF that details the classroom activity for the test proctor. The classroom activity is to be administered no more than three days before the student takes the online performance task. After the classroom activity, 
Students will then go to the computer and individually complete the computer portion of the performance task. During this presentation, we demonstrated how to access the Smarter Balanced Practice Test from the WCAP portal, demonstrated practice test options, training tests that are by grade band and under 10 questions, grade level specific full length practice tests, and practice performance task. We also showed you how to access the classroom activities that should be administered before each performance task. If you have any questions or feedback regarding this tutorial, please do not hesitate to contact Nicole Wombold or Roy Tatlanghari, Instructional Facilitators with Curriculum and Instruction.